life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm at the Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center and I'm talking to all the celebrities. Take a look. <laughs> Hi Jessica, how are you? I am good, I'm good, excited to be here. Yes, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? <laughs> well, first of all, it took me a lot to get here, but this is something that I'm definitely happy to be at. Um, I had two kids, cr literally, cr literally had to peel them off on me, like, minutes before coming here, and I'm, like, breathing right now, but, um, it really is! You have no idea, I just got the spaghetti sauce off this dress, trying to hold these up. No, she looks gorgeous. Gosh, do they fix these here? Because I'm in for that. Yeah. Too much, too much, yeah. You ask when you get inside, I don't know. Well, then I'm glad you have a night out tonight, Mom. Mom's night out with you and Kendra, she makes it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you two are friendship goals. Like, oh, thank you. you guys have been through everything together. Like, how have you guys remained so close throughout the years? Uh, you know, I just think it's uh, communication, uh, realness, honesty, which I, you know, I love that about her. It's what you see is what you get. So that works, like, in relationships and friendships. And, you know, if there ever is any kind of hiccup, we always talk. We communicate because I think we're more than just friends. We're, like, you know, we're family. So confused. I don't know if this is... Which one Michael. am I? How Which do you tell am? the difference? I, I also saw that on the on the um, cl um, client sheet because they were originally going to put my friend Christine and I on the red carpet to interview celebrities for our show Moms and Cars. And then when I got the talent sheet, it said Michael, and I was like, I'm not even going to tell Steven. This is like the worst. My whole life. Literally worst. since Mike. Oh, are we filming right now? Yeah, Hello. I remember on your brother's season of The Bachelorette. You guys did a little switch off. They so, did. did they do this to you? No, because you know what? To me, they look totally different. Like, I guess if you don't know really them, know. they look totally different. Michael is a little bit more, like, chiseled. And I mean that, it is, I'm not and saying I'm that negatively. No, I just mean that Steven is buffer, he's stockier, and he has a way better rear he's end. Keep coming, keep also, not true. He has a better butt. Yes, he does. That's how she And he's also a better player, soccer player. So. Let me see, which one? Oh, Steve is. That's how. That's so, you recently posted a picture about it being 10 years since you were on The Bachelorette. Yeah. yeah. Is, how has life changed oh, since then? Less um, roses. Yeah, less a roses, for sure. Um, I can't keep up with the Let's see, now. a few extra pounds. No, she looks great, though. Please. Uh, extra children. Yes. More Not sleepless extra. nights. We have <laughs> Cat children, yes. Yeah. And you guys all got together for like all the bachelorettes. How was that experience for you guys? Uh, it was so much fun. I genuinely love all of those women and I love being surrounded by them and with them. And you know what, really? It was like a sorority party for like 15 hours and we just. Four hours after filming wrapped, I was like, hey, are you coming home? Are you alive? Are you coming back? Yeah. Yeah. It was very fun. I genuinely love those women and we had the best time just drinking wine and sharing stories and talking about our children and breast pumping in a closet. Not me, but some of them. I'd that actually to... happened in case you were <laughs> Yes. I'd love to hear from you. What was something that wasn't aired in that special that you love to share with us? Uh, Jason and Molly showed up. Really? So uh, I was texting with Molly and they happened to be in Malibu shooting a campaign for a different company and I was like, oh my gosh, we're at the Bachelor Man. She was like, oh my gosh, we're only three miles away. I think we'll stop by. And I was like, yeah. She was like, can you let them know we're coming? And I was like, you have way more pull than I do. You got married on the show. They'll do whatever you want. Um, so Jason and Molly and Riley stopped by for like two hours and we were literally stuffed in this little closet upstairs while we were waiting to meet all the fans. You were uh, one of the supermen that I actually grew up watching and I remember. What, more, one of them? How many did you grew up with? I grew up with you. I grew okay, up with I'm the only one. The Dang only it. one, the only one. Sorry. No, You're the <laughs> only Superman that I remember. Okay, now we're having a conversation. Would you ever go back into that costume again to play Superman again? If they, if they ever called you and said, hey, we need you back? Well, if they just called and said, I need you back, there's a little more detail I want than that. But uh, I'd be really interested in um, seeing where Lois and Clark are 25 years later. I think that would be amazing yeah. and a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm on, Su on Supergirl. I play oh, Supergirl's yeah. dad. And I have been on the last couple seasons, and uh, I'm not going to say whether I will or not on this next bit, but uh, but uh, I would have no problem putting the suit back on and, and playing the character and really finding out where Lois and Clark have been and what they've done and what's happened to them 25 years later. I think it'd be really fun to see. It's reboot season. It's re so you never Well, we also never got a real ending. Yeah. So it would be nice to sort of be able to tie it up with a nice little bow. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop-pop culture.